Hello, welcome to a new unit on complex numbers. In this unit, we are going to solve some exercises proposed in the previous unit. The requirements are the ones we have already seen many times. Knowing what a complex number is, knowing how to operate with complex numbers, and above all, knowing how to calculate the argument of a complex number. Well, let's consider the argument. We want to calculate the argument of z equal to half minus root of 3 divided by 2i. If we apply the formula that we saw the other day, it consists of calculating the arctangent of the imaginary part divided by the real part. In this case, it would be the root of 3 divided by 2 divided by a half. Notice that I have omitted the sign, then we will study in which quadrant is the complex number. If we calculate as we have a double fraction, we calculate ends with ends to the numerator and halves with halves to the denominator. At this point, we can simplify the 2 of the numerator with the 2 of the denominator, so we would have to calculate the arctangent of the root of 3, which is pi thirds. Well, now we have to make sure that we are in the right quadrant. Notice that the complex number would be in the... It's the real part. It's positive. The imaginary part is negative. We're in the fourth quadrant. As we remembered in the previous unit, we had the following criteria. If the complex number is in the fourth quadrant, what we would have to do is to subtract 2 pi from the value we have calculated or simply change its sign. Notice that in this case the argument of z would be either minus p thirds or 2 pi minus p thirds, that is 5 pi thirds. Therefore, if we draw it graphically, we have that the complex number, as you can see, is in the fourth quadrant. We are now going to do another example, but this time in a different quadrant. Notice that now the complex number is minus the root of 3 divided by 2 plus a half times i. At this point, if we apply the formula of the arctangent, we have that it would be a half divided by the root of 3 divided by 2. Recall that it is the imaginary part divided by the real part. And like before, I have omitted the sign, and then we will study in which quadrant is the complex number. In this case, if we simplify the double fraction, what we get would be 2 times 1 divided by 2 root of 3. If we simplify the 2's, we would simply have the arctangent of 1 divided by the root of 3, which would be pi sixths, or what is the same, 30 degrees. Well, if we study now in which quadrant the complex number is, as we can see, the real part is negative and the imaginary part is positive. That is to say, we would be in the second quadrant. If we look at the diagram we saw last day, if the complex number is in the second quadrant, what we would have to do is calculate pi minus the value obtained with the value of the arctangent. Well, in this case, it would simply be pi minus pi sixths, which would be 5 pi sixths. If we represent graphically the complex number, we obtain that. As we can see, the complex number is in the second quadrant. Well, so much for today's exercises. See you in the next session. Thank you very much.